I could talk with Rob Paulson on an airplane for three hours, and I, you know, it's like I can't get enough. Yeah. You know, he has headphones on, yeah. and he's not right. really looking at me. <laughs> but, 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 but he's but, at least but, Please oh, return yeah. your stewardess oh to her original upright position. <laughs> you know, he's like my comfort animal. <laughs> he's yeah. a captive audience. You're so. yeah, comfort yeah. animal. Yeah. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. Okay, so individually, our guests are extraordinarily talented. So when you put them all together, what they create is otherworldly. We are so excited to have with us your favorite siblings, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, the phenomenal Rob Paulson, Jess Harnell, and Tress McNeil. Yay! Oh, yeah! Yay! And it feels so good. Yeah. This is, I try I to get a VO <laughs> Buzz Weekly myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be nervous, but I am. Oh, wow. Come on, get out of Come here. On. Man. Nervousness is just another days. flavor of excitement, okay. Chuck. So I'm really excited, man. I'm really <laughs> this excited. This is great. You guys have never been here together. Rob, no, no. you were one of our first guests. Know, Jesse was one of our first guests. Trust was again, with us last year. Standards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm usually just here tidying up when you guys go home, so it's nice to actually <laughs> be here when the lights are on. Well, I have. Thank this you. This is such a joy. Nice, but I have to say something, say it, and Chuck. I don't want to put you on a spot or anything like that, Tress, but since day one that we started doing this stuff, we invited all the top people that we knew, and we wanted to talk to you so bad. We really, really did, and we never had the chance to. Mm -hmm. Plus, you wouldn't do it. Plus, she's too so, expensive. Yeah. Plus, well, she wouldn't do it. it. There's that. We weren't big enough oh, for that. you yet. Mind so, the detail. So now, we are literally ecstatic that, to have the entire yes. family of We are yes. too. Oh, thank you very much. So, yes. Thank you. Great no, to be here. Yes. Awesome. Thank you very, very much. Smells Pleasure. great in here. <laughs> thank you. Doesn't it? Oh, it yeah. does. I thought it was it's you like, because you really, really well, is it like a spa? That's part of it. That's like the low notes. Your it, wind song stays on my mind I'll and my say. couch it's, and my. It's again because wow. when I come in here after hours and clean up, I leave sachets of pool. Yeah. 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 yeah, you oh, are. Wow. You are yeah. very. It's be one of those shows. Your grooming is really is Thank beyond you. compare. Nice. I go the extra um, mile. Guys, a human chia so, pet. <laughs> cha 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 chia. All right, I say we get down. Okay. We get down and dirty, and we start this little interview yeah, here. Do it, we Chuck. got some questions for you guys. Go. We got answers. So, do it. Well, go, buddy. We'll buzz what in we when you know, feel. Yep. Yes. Okay. And what everybody out there wants to know is, mm -hmm. Animaniacs. Yeah. Is it really coming back? And if so, when, where, and how? And with whom? No okay. comment. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know nothing. Oh. It is, it is oh, coming oh. back. <laughs> Look, it's going to be a wacky show, it's ladies be, and gentlemen. Yeah. It is right. coming back, yeah. Chuck, thank you very much. Uh, probably okay. about the fall from next year, 2020 on Hulu. Um, Yakko Akundat will now be portrayed by the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> and Jonas Pinky Brothers. in the Brain will be portrayed okay. by um, it, Russell, Russell Brand. Brand. And Peter and Dinklage, Dinklage yes. respect. Wow. Yes. We're excited about uh, that. No, Does Peter the, Dinklage die? No, but now yeah. The, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's not in the band. I oh, adore her. Yeah. Right. I know. Now Chess the Game of Thrones have, is over. Hold on. Chess and I are having good. a moment. But the truth is, honestly, yes, Those it is true. Um, Mr. Spielberg has been incredibly kind and uh, insisted, in fact, that uh, we were back doing the show. How so about it's that? pretty exciting. Isn't that nice? Anytime the king of Hollywood says, we're going to do this, but we're going to do it with these people. You yeah. can't argue with him, and Absolutely. he knows that. It was quite, quite a huge Johnny Grant? Was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, he's the mayor. Oh, he's the mayor. Yeah, he's the mayor. Right. Okay, oh, so if, if, if Stephen was here right now, we invited him. He's, he was he busy. Also was he was a little busy. his bowling if, night. If he was, right? <laughs> Turkey. Uh, if he were here right now, what would you say to him? Thanks. Uh, yeah. I he needed the money. He, <laughs> where are you honestly, living you know, now? We talked really about this when this was an issue, when, when it started coming up literally several years ago, when the, yeah. the, the um, Sam Register, the president of Warner Brothers Animation, we invited us to dinner and we yeah. talked about Fancy. that, about this whole thing. And <clears throat> um, honestly, it, it we talked about it, as you can imagine, uh, for months, a year, I guess, before it finally happened. Mm -hmm. But the, the overarching takeaway I think for all of us was the fact that 
it's not about celebrity. It's about the authenticity of these characters, which have really um, become not only a part of, of pop culture, yeah. and, and the uh, fan base is exponentially larger than it was when the show premiered 25, 26 years ago. Mm. But the fact that Mr. Spielberg, at what, 73 years old, I call says, Steve. not <laughs> only are we going to do this again, but we won't do it unless we can get Tress, Jess, Maurice, and myself. Right. Yes. And any time that yeah. you have someone like that going to bat for you in a very tough business yeah. that often mm -hmm. uh, finds celebrities to do large sure. animated projects sure. right. and says, no, 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 it's not about that. It's about authenticity. Yeah. And the fan, will, the fan base gets it. That's a huge deal, Chuck. Yeah. Um, so we have been incredibly... <laughs> flattered and it's really <laughs> it's, cool to be yeah. a part of it. Yeah, exactly. you know what, what's kind of cool too as is it should be. You know, as absolutely. it should be. Oh, it's it's a huge, huge deal. But what I what I remember from that night that was really special to me is that when they went home, when Sam and the Warner Brothers folks went home, Rob and Tress and myself stood there on the steps to Morton's in <laughs> Burbank mm -hmm. and we looked at each other and we were all Pardon like, me, in the shadow of the water tower. Yeah, in the shadow of ah. the water tower. Morton's is like down the street. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So home sweet home was looking overhead. And we all kind of looked at each other and none of us, you know, when they told us, hey, we, we, you know, they took us to dinner and it was this very kind of covert thing. And they said, well, we're thinking about doing it again, you know, and we all just went, oh, great. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> right. Yeah. But we didn't like freak out because just in my own life, and I, I, I venture to guess, guess it goes for these guys, too. I, I, I think non-attachment is a really cool thing when you don't get like, oh, my God, when? How? How's it going to work? Exactly. What are you going to do? Yeah. How soon are you going to call? Yeah. Is it really going to happen? And when we stood there outside of that place, I just remember how relax the three of us were about it we're like wouldn't this be great yeah. it's, Holly, it's hollywood you know yeah. you never know yes. people talk about a million things and that never and happened three yeah. of them happened yeah you know mm -hmm. so we stood there and said man this that would be really great god it would be so much fun all right well, what do you do tomorrow while well, i'm doing this i'm doing this i'm mm -hmm. doing this okay see you later and sure enough it took what like a year and a half oh, a couple of years yeah right yeah. before we before we uh, picked it up again and ran with it but wow. here we are and it couldn't be cooler now. those initial meetings uh uh, uh were they not rob for the purpose of uh, kind of establishing um, Animaniacs Live. And well, oh, yeah, the show, yeah, I yeah. think oh, was, was Randy of. in those first meetings? I'm sorry. First, was no, Randy, Randy was not. Randy oh, Rogel, oh. who wrote most of the songs yeah. That, yeah, 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 yeah. that people yeah. Um, you know relate to and kind of. Uh, but that was just getting off the ground. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was. We had done uh, Tress, Jess, and myself had done, and Randy had done a, a show in Colorado in 2014 with the Colorado Symphony, in which yeah. we. Um, did the music of Animaniacs live. Yeah. And you know what? People suggested this, and I didn't, I, I, my, my go-to response, that's why we have a big sister. Um, my go-to response is saying- We know now Dot's role. Is, it, my go-to response when they say, you know, Animaniacs in concert probably had something to do with chumming the waters to see if Mr. Spielberg would want to do this again. And I, would always, I never thought uh, that Randy and I put this together, and frankly, I didn't want to let myself believe that we had that mm. kind of juice. But I have to say, uh, I think that there's some truth to that because inevitably what happens when we did our show in, in uh, Colorado, had a couple of, uh, 3,000 people there. Yeah. We did a talk back afterwards oh at which 1,100 people stayed. Yeah. yeah. 83 um, piece orchestra. 83 yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. It was the opportunity And it was lifetime. essentially a, a fancy a dress rehearsal because we really only had started doing yeah. it. But you know what happened, um, you guys, is that the videos of us doing that started going around. It, it's not a big stretch to think, hey, Stephen, you got to look at this. And Tress and Jess and Rob can still do this. Not moreover, they enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. And yes. if you close your eyes, they're killing it. Yeah. yeah. It could um, be 93. It could be. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You don't know. And yeah. so I have to say in retrospect, I think that there was some of that trust because um, when Sam uh, came to have dinner with us, he broached that subject. He said, well, you guys, we know about, you know, and Randy and I yeah. have gotten a, a, a deal with Warner Brothers licensing to use this free wow. deal. So which, yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, never, never, happens. never happens. Yeah. 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 And yeah. so I think Tress is right. I think there was a, um, it's like, well, these guys, can really do it, do you, do you guys really want to do it? And um, it sounds silly for us to, to, to assume that, are you kidding me? But I understand, there are people yeah. who kind of go, yeah, and Tress has been incredibly busy, she works, you know, Yes. All the time. Really it's true. Know about it. right. You are with fabulous, charities by the way. The children. <laughs> so anyway, and, and the, the short rambling answer to Tress's question is, yeah, we did have, that's what it was about, to make sure that everybody really wanted to do it. 
Yeah. And at the time it was suggested that it might be, well, in the next few months, two years. Yeah, two years. Yeah. Yeah. But so good thing you it didn't was hold always... your breath in that anxiety of maybe it's today. Yeah, yes. exactly. You just yeah. gotta that let it go. It was also a yeah. very yeah. convenient cool. way uh, to the, for them to uh, uh, promote Yes. Uh, the uh, the running of Animaniacs on Netflix. Yes, yeah, yeah. which was a big part so, of this too. And yeah. so yeah. Robin Randy's, uh, uh, you know, going out and 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 doing their musical thing yeah. uh, was just keeping uh, everything alive and fresh. And you know, I really believe that uh, uh, thanks to uh, Rob's efforts, oh, well. annoying as they may be. <laughs> <laughs> That it has kept the Animaniacs alive Absolutely. and that yes. it brought it back. Well, and yeah, we've seen the show. Oh, it's incredible. We got to see baby. it with all of you guys in La Mirada, which was still, oh, that's right. it was amazing. Right? Yeah, we so if you sold out shows. Yes, yes. Which so, is, that's four. So if you guys have a chance to see Animaniacs live anywhere, oh, it's great. you have to go. It's really you, special sweetie. because I love seeing the things the way they were originally done or the things that didn't make it. And Randy is so talented. Are and you, you guys together me? are Isn't so... He, Fantastic. He is incredible. Without question, the single most overachieving human I've ever met. In yeah, my that's life. a talent stack. Right oh my there. god! Yeah. And it just pours out of them. Yeah, what we it's live West in Point. Hollywood. He learned it at West Point. Yeah. yeah, right. We live in Hollywood. You can throw a dart and hit a good singer. Absolutely. Yeah. But you can't throw a dart and hit people who can oh, write that stuff. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sorry. It's cri- oh. he, he graduated from oh. West Point. Yes. Then he graduated from Boston University. Yeah. yeah. Then and he went to work in corporate America and said, "Nah, I'm not making six figures. I'm really not about this. I'm about." writing and performing yeah. and look up randy rogel singing yes. in the rain on youtube oh my god yes, Watch crazy. Him. Yeah. yes. and so we've then, had him on the show too so oh, yeah. it's a great so interview he too bangs all right the door and finally makes his way to hollywood <laughs> he finally gets a job on batman the animated series goes out wins an emmy mm. then he hears about animaniacs oh my, i'm really all about music and singing <laughs> and stuff yeah, yeah 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 you just won an emmy for batman it's batman right uh, i know i know but i got okay Folks, this is how talented that guy is. His audition piece to get the job on Animaniacs was Yakko's World, was the United States. No, that was his audition. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what he had in his back pocket. Yeah, crazy. So, he had gum in his front pocket. Oh my wow. God. <laughs> I didn't know that. that oh, that Lord. Was? And it never stops with yeah. that guy. Yeah, he's great. And watching yeah. the audience react to Randy's work is nothing short of astonishing because they just mm. all go, how does that happen? Yeah. So it's yeah. a remarkable experience. Yeah. So I'm curious, you guys, okay, so the original Animaniacs, of which you are. <laughs> yeah. uh, the only Animaniacs. Came to life are. in 1993. Yes, it okay, premiered so, 26 years ago this month. Yeah. So 26. now, yep. so now here you are, oh, and yeah. it'll be launching in 2020. Yep. What has been your approach to creating these characters in, I mean, because life has happened to all of you, life has happened to them. Does it show? No. Oh. You're fabulous. Well, you know what? But yeah. what was your approach of bringing them back to Are life? Are they different now? I'll how much you, liberty do you have? How you approach them now? I'll, I'll tell you what, what's funny, what comes to mind for me with that is that, you know, we really, all this time that we've been away from it, as I said before, we've all been blessed to continue to work a lot. Yeah. yeah. But the legacy of these characters and how much they meant to us and to other people was always really, really important. One thing that I remember that happened in the interim from the time the show ended <clears throat> to now was we were approached to do the characters' voices on a different animated project where they were basically going to make fun of them. Right. And like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Wacko mm-hmm. was going to be up in the water tower with an Uzi killing people and, you know, that was a street walker or whatever. And, you know, my agents asked me about it and I didn't even check with them. And yeah, I, good point. And, yeah, and I went, I went, no, I won't do it. And they said, well, why? It's good money or whatever. And I said, I don't want to do it because I love that character. And in my mind, they're still running around having a good time and nothing's mm-hmm. changed. That's so right. I, don't want to, I don't want to present that to the people who these characters are dear to. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, no. Good Later choice. that day, I asked my agent, I said, hey, what, you know, did they hear back from Robin Tress? They both said no to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we all did it independently because we love these characters. Yeah. We also saw, as before the show came back, when we would do Comic-Cons, which we all do periodically, and uh, we'd be doing these panels and there'd be thousands of people at these panels. And I would just arbitrarily go, how many of you people want Animaniacs to come back? Mm. And it would be like a rock show. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they would just erupt. You know, so we always had a feeling like it might come back. And as far as the approach to them, the most the most beautiful way that I can, you know, offer my own personal feeling about it is the first day we recorded, we went to the Warner Brothers lot and we're sitting there. And, you know, Tress is in the middle and I'm on one side and Rob's on the other side. And 
you know, I'm as big a fan of these guys and of Animaniacs and of, you know, the things that we all do as anybody. And I just sat there when they started talking and I just kind of shut my eyes and it was literally like being in a time machine. Mm. Yeah. Nothing had changed. The voices were the same. Fortunately, we have an amazing, amazing team as you guys will see yeah. when you watch these shows. Obviously, this thing has a pedigree that's very high. And one thing I think we're all really happy and proud of is they want to maintain that. Yes. They're not like cutting corners and saying, well, we're going to get people who are okay. They really aimed high on the people that they hired. And, uh, and the scripts are really, really great. And it's going to be as good as it ought to be, you know, to live up to the legacy that it had. But in terms of approaching it, it was honestly like putting on your old favorite pair of shoes yeah. that you'd had under the bed, safely tucked away in a box, and you took them yeah. on, you went, these things still fit yeah. just the same, and they feel the way they always do. Yeah, stay. it was <laughs> if, it was if no time had passed at all. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, right? it, it, I always thought that we uh, we said a whole lot more in the cartoons, mm -hmm. but it seems like we don't say quite as much in this in this new uh, now, permutation. Now, time moves faster yeah. as you uh, go by. But... Uh, <laughs> Um, maybe I just was. Well, uh, obviously the zeitgeist is dip, is changed, and yeah. and, and, and that the, is the really yet. where yeah. we find the differences between now and twenty six years yeah. ago. Oh, I that, that's, that's what I was going to ask uh, you. Yeah, like, what, you still, what kind of new content yeah. can the fans explore? Are well, you still so much, going? Going? I mean, are you still going there? Oh, we're going yeah. there. Beyond, we're going beyond where we used to. Right. Go. I, I, it's. I, I submit that it's still <laughs> edgy. It's still. <laughs> Wait a minute, um, Rob is It's. Utterly, uh, just like the edict in the initial show was to not condescend to the right. audience, was to assume, although it is ostensibly a kids show, mm -hmm. yeah, right. as it's they say, for kids kid of all friendly. ages. Exactly. It's, it's, yeah, very, it's much, very funny. Yeah. And it's so precious to see the kids who write the show now, um, who all grew up watching it. Yeah, yeah. And we've yeah. had more than one occasion in which the uh, young men and women working on the show will get tearful when they hear their words coming out of our mouths. Yeah. They're just like, mm -hmm. oh my God, that's, I'm really doing this. <laughs> and that's sweet, when yeah. you really get to see what an impact it has. They all mm -hmm. get that, as Jess said, it's a very high bar because th the technology has changed so much in, yeah. in 26 years so that uh, all now all the original Animaniacs and Pinky and the Brain episodes are all on Hulu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when the new ones come out, people can say, I'm going to watch my favorite episode from Animaniacs, and right after it, I'm going to watch the first episode of the new one, A, B, it within seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's utterly unprecedented. And honestly, yeah. I don't think there's another circumstance in which you can take a show that has been as successful as yeah. our show mm -hmm. and put it in a time capsule and have it come up against itself again yes. with all this new technology. So. Wellesley Wild, our showrunner, and all the other people working on it go, oh my God, there's not even going to be any delay. We can watch all the old episodes and all the, and new, all ones the new ones right, right then now. now. And isn't that so the beauty? So if it beauty. sucks, so yeah. we're your job. Yeah. Yeah. But that's <laughs> well, the beauty of, of voiceover versus on camera. Oh, totally. Right? Yeah. So you, and you guys are still amazing storytellers. You have you. the chops. I mean, you and you now you're adding in all your layers of life that's happened. Mm -hmm. um, but how beautiful that you don't have to worry about being seen. Oh, honey. All, you're you're still these little tiny. We can't be as beautiful as Trash. Amen to that. True <laughs> that. In her navy blue. Look That's at her. That's the biggest part, the best part of our gig. Nobody gives a damn That's what right. we look like. Yeah, it's we're, such a luxury. Um, and Even we, though we're adorable. Tress and, you know, uh, and wow. I particularly. I would have been out years ago. <laughs> She's been no, seriously. So, I couldn't take the pressure. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know how women do it. The fact of the matter is that. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you're when you're not limited by, and, and Hollywood is brutal, especially for women. Mm -hmm. I myself have actually heard producers say the thought, well, I used to do a lot of on-camera stuff, and they'd say, you know, she's terrific, but she's going to be 34, 35. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And These so shoes are 34. <laughs> Tress <laughs> is unequivocally the most successful <laughs> voice actress in the history of a Hollywood. Yeah. True story. And she's only Who limited by the creativity yes. I stopped listening. and the <laughs> kindness of people to I'll hire. wake you when it gets yeah. interesting. Right? True. And so it's fantastic. And, the, and the, again, the beauty about that whole circumstance is that Steven freaking Spielberg didn't yeah. think twice. She wants to do it? Okay. Yes. That's our yeah, that's girl. What we yes. want to do. I yes. love that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I love and made that I... precedent. Ooh, the the fact that they honored the 
talent and not selling out, oh, it's about the so and so wants yeah. to do it. Not that about, they really, that's, right. I hope that's a precedent that sticks. Absolutely. Right. Hey, can I ask you guys a question? Yeah, that's man. kind because of the point, I've actually been, It's actually a question that we have, but I I wanted to know this for myself. Who are you? So back, <laughs> the, back in the early days of Animaniacs, you know, recording sessions for voice actors for, in animation were, everybody was there, right? Yes, you guys yeah. were commingling with each other. Is it the same now? And if so, how's the chemistry now, 27 years later? Interesting. With the three of us or with yes. the other people that they have come in? No, 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 with the three of you. <laughs> with the three of you. We'll do an the AB. Maniacs. <laughs> oh, well, you know, we're all brothers and sisters. Hell yeah. Of course. Yes. We love each other. We and do, man. Are you nice to the day players, Tress? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, of course, like, no. Sorry, did you say she okay. they're, all our, they're all our best friends, too. Okay, good. They, they, only, get, they only get the very, very I was best gonna, people. They get the good guys. say, trust, they're watching oh, right, so, right now. Yes. So, okay, hello, yeah. so clearly um, the chemistry is, is oh, yeah. crap. We and they all don't, get along. They don't we like all get along. Yeah. Totally. Well, yeah. Yeah. Really great. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to throw in there just real quick and then please continue. <laughs> you know what's nice, too, is that in the interim, since we stopped, we've never fallen out of touch. No. Never. Right. You know, right. we've, all, we've all invited each other to all our social functions and, and yeah. weddings and divorce parties and whatever else there were. You know, and it's like, it's it's a beautiful thing because we are still, it's you know, everybody that's on TV together, they always say, oh, it's really like a family. Yeah. yeah. But this literally has yeah. been. I mean, we've seen each other... You know, we watch Rob's son grow up and we've yeah. seen everybody's yeah. lives. He said his 35th birthday. Yeah. Wow. How about that? Tresto has a picture of my sweet little boy on, Blowing her, a bubble. on her refrigerator where the picture is like spit bubble coming <laughs> out of his mouth at like That's eight months little. old or yeah. something. Oh, he was it's, little tiny. And so honestly, I've known Tress McNeil since she was a cocktail waitress. Right. Last and week. now she is the preeminent voice actress. Yeah. In ever. the world in Hollywood no. history. My shit ever. starts in a couple yeah. I know. <laughs> it's, you know, I'm just going to clap for that. <laughs> yeah. I know. I deserve it a is, big round of applause. Well, you guys are just making stuff up, and that's yeah. fine with me. <laughs> just go with <laughs> it, Tess. Go with There's it. There's no standards it. and practices right now. Yeah, here. honestly, the, but, the, the, <laughs> but the chemistry has, it's always been great because it's authentic. Yes. And yeah. when yeah. when we go do, and it's glorious, you guys, when, when we get a chance with our friend Mo, too, to go do... Uh, panels at comic cons mm -hmm. often with thousands of people yeah. it is so glorious and there have been more than a number of times in which i've looked across the dais at my friends and i yeah. get a little tearful because mm -hmm. we are so close personally and to be able to watch all their stars rise to the extent where they can open their mouth and say one word as yakko or wacko mm -hmm. and the audience loses their yeah it's pretty yeah. amazing what a Gas to be able yeah. to do that yeah. with your friends. Yeah. Well, Remodel. listen, since you guys started your careers. Well, wait, 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 episode of the new Animaniac after going to the studio knowing it's this is happening. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is not a fluke anymore. This is not a talk anymore. Yeah. This is not a, something that might, this is, this is happening. It's happening. How did you feel, Rob? Um, honestly, like I'd won the lottery um, because for years we had chatted amongst ourselves and also, so, you know, fans will say, Mr. Paulson, if Animaniacs ever came back, would you do it again? And of course we'd say, yeah. But, and I even sent out tweets in which I said, please don't hold your breath. Yeah. yeah, because we've moved on and thank yeah. goodness we're still working. And if nothing else happens, I was involved with one of the seminal shows of the 90s, oh. which has done nothing but bring joy to tens of millions of mm. people. So when it really happened, it, it was it's not hyperbole, Chuck. It was it was uh, a, a sort of out of body experience. I got in my car. I literally did took a breath and just thought, I I don't know that I could be any more fortunate than to be doing something that I would literally do for free with yeah. people. I would choose to be my friends and they're paying me for it. Yeah. And everybody can't wait for us to do it. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. If you're in Hollywood, just the fact that we have careers that enable us to continue to work as we get older. It's as a much miracle. As, it's, yeah. It is nothing short of a miracle. It is. <laughs> it is. We, we, you're right. And, and we know that. And by the way, folks, this excitement is not manufactured. It's utterly authentic, and we get how lucky we are. And I think that's also what makes it nice for the audience because yeah. they 
don't see us going, oh, it's your turn. They see yeah. us going, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 so you guys are, you know, Fantastic. it couldn't happen to three Trust. nicer people. How did you feel after that? Well, you know, I, I have to. And you, you can cry a little bit if you need to. And you our should. ratings you will go should. up. You should. You should. Come on. I cried in the car. <laughs> <laughs> In the traffic on the way the over. <laughs> when are we going to get there? Um, I was a little nervous because, uh, I mean, I was happy once we started recording because, I mean, mm. our voices came out of our heads. Yeah, and that, everything check was, one. Everything yeah. was fine. So yeah. I knew that. But we were in a different recording studio. Mm-hmm. We had a different engineer. Mm-hmm. We had a different voice director. Yeah. We had a whole new production team. And these people were strangers to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Or to me anyway. And uh, so I didn't know how it was going to go because we were also comfy uh, mm, back in, in day, yeah. back back in the day in, uh, uh, with our all of our uh, all our buddies, our family, mm-hmm. and uh, so uh, I was hoping that it would be as pleasant and ex- an experience as it always had been, and um, you know, separate from the fact that. We get along so well. I mean, mm. some of the best times that I have yeah. now are spending time with these guys. It's a blast. Uh, when we when we mm-hmm. go when we go to these uh, uh, these cons, yeah. mm-hmm. I kind of just and got you know a little, I get a, a I, I get it I yeah. get a yeah. chance yeah. to just just talk with them. I can talk with Rob Paulson on an airplane for three hours. And I, you know, it's like I can't get enough. Yeah. You know, he has headphones on. Yeah. And he's not right. really looking at me. <laughs> but, 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 but he's at least. But, please on return air. your stewardess to her original upright position. You know, he's like my comfort animal. <laughs> he's yeah. a captive it's, audience. So. Yeah, her comfort yeah. animal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, she said, "It's my pot belly pig." Coming out of my eyes to laughter. I don't God bless you, Trish. Paulson is available as an emotional support oh, animal God. He's for good all that of you. Way. He's good that all way. All right. So, excuse me. Jackson. You know what Tress is saying is is all true, <laughs> and there was a little bit of melancholy because we had um, one of the dearest people who was part of our team was our friend Harry Andronis, who was our yeah. recording engineer. We just passed engineer. his house. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. just and like, he oh, moved on to that great recording studio in the, the sky. sky. Um, and our beautiful Andrea had decided to retire. Our director, and so. The, the the production team was not part of the equation anymore. We knew that, and um, and it was. It was melancholy. Mm-hmm. But it, interestingly, I think it's a tribute to the whole process and to those and to Harry and to all of our other friends, to them, that the audience and Warner Brothers and Hulu and Steven Spielberg found it so doable that they said, oh, yeah, we're going to do this again. That's a huge tribute to Tom Ruger yeah. and to yeah, and yeah, his yeah. people. Yes. It yes. really is, because yes. this doesn't happen ever. ever. Yeah. Jesse, um, I've known you. Hold on one quick second. Yeah. I've known you since we were 13 years old. Yes, you have. I really? know that in situations like this, which rarely happen, but they do happen in life in different ways, you... You are one of these people that holds on to those little moments yeah. and, and really creates a special, yeah. special moment. Like a yeah. photograph. How did you feel when you walked out of that first session ever and you knew it was back and you got into your car? Okay, well, you know, you do know me well and you know that I try to lock things in. Like even this right now, I mean, I'm sitting here with people I love right. and I'm surrounded and it's a beautiful thing and I'm kind of taking mental snapshots. But that day, walking in and walking out were two different things because walking in, you know, I mentioned earlier how we really love the legacy of these characters. Yeah. And we know that Steven does, you know, but we were walking in, as Rob said, with a whole new group of people. And we're like, boy, I hope this doesn't suck, man. Because yeah. I, I don't know if they mm. sent us the scripts before the first one, but I didn't read them. I wanted to be surprised. I wanted yeah. to like just kind of go, okay, what is this? And we had signed up. Yeah, we signed up, but I, but I had every hope that it would be really, really good. So we sat down there. And again, the first thing that happened was when we started doing the voices, as Tress said, I was like, oh my gosh, this is, it's the time machine. It's like everybody sounds the same. Then it proceeded to be very, very funny. And at the same time, one of the best things about Animaniacs was that it was always funny and a little bit subversive at the same Mm -hmm. time and also very satirical as to what was going on. And by the end of the first episode, I think Wacko had already called one of the most important political leaders in the world who shall remain nameless a psychopath. And I thought, (laughs) well... I thought we were, we're off. back. We're back, you know. And I went, wow, okay. And 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 you know, it was such a joyous thing as it was that first session. It's continued. They do. You said something earlier about recording alone or together. Yeah. Almost every episode of this particular show 
they have the three of us. Yeah. And it's interesting yeah. because they don't have us with the guest stars, not that we have anything against them, yeah. but I think that they know and appreciate <laughs> that there's something special that happens when the three of us are in the room. And frankly, most of my cartoons, and I don't know if I speak for these guys, I love recording alone because I can go in there and, and get 40 lines done yeah. in half an hour and go get Chinese food. Yeah, right. With these guys, I'm always hopeful that that door is mm -hmm. going to open and it's going to be the two of them. Yeah. Because we just have such a great time. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that's yeah. what I wanted yeah. to know Lovely. because, you know, like you said, so many people now tell me, oh yeah, I just went to dinner session for this. And I'm like, was anybody else there? Didn't see no, anybody. Just me yeah. doing my yeah. stuff. I'm like, wow. No, that's so you know? sad. It, it is sad. Wow. It and, is and, sad. But I know that you guys had that experience together, and now you're having it again together. Yeah. And yeah. 27 years. And that's later. the amazing yeah. thing. It's we better when we so record. Cool. It is, yeah. man. Yeah. Just yeah. for this for this combo, it really is. And the, the the short answer to your question is what I wrote in my journal when I got home that yes. night. Yes. And I wrote, it felt like coming home. Yeah. Wow. And that's exactly that. what it was like. I it really that. did. Yeah. And I leaving there, you know, I might have had a little, uh, I might have had a little misty moment Mist. in the car just because yeah. it was like, I can't believe I get to do this again with these it's, people yeah. and hopefully have an impact. And I believe that it will have an impact as many people as it did the first time yeah. in yeah. such a beautiful way. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, Rob, myself, Tress, when we're sitting there at those tables and we meet these amazing people who come oh, to say hi to crap. us around the world and they'll wait two hours just to come up and say hi. Yeah. And, you know, you'll get, uh, you know, a 40-year-old ex-Marine standing there in front of you with a crew cut going, oh, sir, would you please sign this Funko Papa Wacko? <laughs> and I go, yeah, sure, man. And I go, so did you serve? And he goes, yeah, I was in the military. I served in the Marines for seven years. Oh my God. And I go, well, thank you very much for your service. And he uh, starts crying. No. You know, and you got to go hug this six foot six guy because he's like, uh, man, you don't know what that means. And you're just like. You just let me handle that. <laughs> <laughs> you see? And it's see, right. the way you guys just reacted. <laughs> That's you. exactly what yeah. it is. And it's just, it's like, it's like a superpower that we get to have. And now hopefully people come up all the time and they say, thanks for being oh. part of my childhood. You are my childhood. Yeah. And my, my pat response is always, I can't believe your parents would let me be in the house to totally. be part of your yeah. childhood. Well, yeah. and now those children are sharing it with, with their, their children. children. Yes. It's fantastic. You know, and, it's well, just, fantastic. It, and, and when we do these animated action concert shows, it's not a bunch of 10 year olds. No. no. It's a bunch of 40 year olds and older. Yeah. They bring their kids, their kids. and yes. their grandkids. Yes. And they sing a lot too. age. And we, we, you know, keep records of this. The mean age of the people who buy tickets to come see our shows live is about 30 to 35, mm. 37. Mm. And mm. it is spectacular. <laughs> I, I honestly, I, I can't get enough of yeah. it. Just like Tress yeah. said, yeah. this is truly, because we all know a lot of famous people and people who work in movies and TV and all that stuff. But this is so unusual in, in our world. And by the way, with respect to the uh, individual recording, we get it. You know, it happens all the time on Simpsons, big shows, because people go on and do other lives, especially if the longest running show in the history of television. Yeah. yeah. But there is, to be sure, uh, an element of, of uh, creativity that is not there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. When you're not able to bounce off world-class right. talent. Yeah. That old phrase, we live that every week with that, the, the, the phrase that a high tide raises yeah. all boats. Oh, yeah. I mm -hmm. am way better. Oh, me too. With these yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. Or with Maurice in the room. Yeah. Way yeah. better. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and, 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 and we and need to mention Bruce Maurice LaMarche. Absolutely. Yeah, so he's this coming might back be a stupid well. question, and maybe you already talked about this, but with the reboot of Animaniacs, is there also the reboot of Pinky and the Brain? Of course there is. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, good. Because <laughs> otherwise, yes, I'm yes, going to yes. get out of here. You know what? I was just saying, if we could, if we could have a felt, watch this. All these <laughs> people watching out there, watch, here's my superpower. <laughs> I wish we all had. I want you, I'm going to give you five seconds. Get your phones, all right? Turn them on video, okay? Now do the thing where you can video yourself, and then I want you to send these videos in to Chuck and Stacy <laughs> at this moment, because this is my superpower, ready? All I have to do is the following. Yes! Yes! Right, dude? And they're doing what Chuck is yes. doing. Yes. See right? what you just did? No. Yeah. It is, it's, Thing amazing, yeah, yeah. It is. And, it is. I, and it never yes. gets so old. Cool. Like Jesse was talking about, the number, the number of times that I've looked over and seen sweet Tressa because it took us a while to, to yeah. you know, to pry her out of her palatial estate. She's got a thirty-seven thousand foot garage. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. Um, but, but when we finally got her out there, it was nothing short of of just glorious. Because I was, oh, yeah. I remember, I don't even remember what the first one was, but I looked over at Tressa and, and the general tenor of, of those remarks is like, oh, honey, nobody cares. And same thing happened to um, um, uh, Cam Clark, who was uh, leader yeah. of Ninja Turtles yeah. for years because we're anonymous. Not so much anymore, but we it's an anonymous profession. 
So I'd say, Tress, honey, uh, I go to these things and people, they're going to go nuts. They yeah. ask, ask about you, you all yeah. the time. Sure. And she's like, honey, you're making me feel good. I appreciate it. No, 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 no. It's not about money, not about ratings, not about action figures. They love you. And I remember so clearly watching Tressa while, you know, little girl. In fact, there was a little girl at that event in Colorado yeah. uh, who just said in through tears, can I give you a hug? And it was authentic, natural, and, and, and it was beautiful. And Tress was like, oh my There's God. There's lots of hugging. There's yeah. a lot of hugging. It's, it's fantastic yeah. because these people connect, not these people. Which is great. People in general connect with these characters on a far deeper level. Yeah. Than any of us ever knew. Oh, yeah. and you you become their friends. It's, yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's, it's so true. much so to look more of an over and see Tress going, wow, this person made yeah. me a throw for yeah. my house that yeah. she yeah. made out of her with no. Uh, how do I yeah. do? Yeah. It's fantastic. Well, yeah. I know. And listen, it's hard to to think of yourselves as like you know this amazing people that you are yeah. because you're you're all so grounded and down to earth. But you know. The matter of the fact is that you guys have affected lots and lots of lives and still and now will continue to do that with yeah. a whole different yeah. generation. Yeah. I believe new Animaniacs is going to freaking blow the old Animaniacs <laughs> yeah. away. Yeah. From your mouth to so God's chest. I, yeah. I hope you're planning on sticking around for a while. Yeah. I'm really interested in seeing what kind of a, a world we're, we're set in. Yes. Because we don't, we don't have any idea... Uh, what the thing is going to look like. Mm. It's not going to look like the old Animaniacs. I mean, the, our characters the character are, designs, are kind yeah. of the same. They're kind of a little stretched, and yeah. there's something different about them, but they're the same. And some of the character drawings that I've seen uh, for uh, the people that we you know, mess around with, like right. we do, um, uh, they're way different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're like Hirschfeld. Yeah, um, yeah. Really, yeah. Is really odd. Uh, yeah. It's going to be interesting. So uh, um, I'm excited to see what kind of a world we enter. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. the characters yes. grew a little bit and they all went on keto <laughs> diet. Yeah. So, well, that concludes part one with the Animaniacs. I'm telling you guys right now, you do not want to miss part two so stick around in the meantime yes in the meantime follow all of us on social subscribe to the channel and just remember you, you always have time for a little buzz, buzz. the old buzz weekly is sponsored by chuck duran's demo that rock the voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosvetrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.